If one were to ask me for my non-biased opinion, is Raleigh cheaper than Charlotte? My answer is, and I live in Charlotte, Raleigh is definitely cheaper to live in than Charlotte. Now I'm going to run down the pros towards Raleigh and then I'm going to give you the cons. Right? So, you have the Research Triangle Park that's there that have an abundance of jobs. So if you're into tech, the tech industry or the tech world or, and the pharmaceutical companies, the pharmaceutical companies, you know what I'm saying, uh, excuse me, the, the pharmaceutical uh, industry, you're going to do well there. You're going to do well there. Uh, the cost of living is cheap. Uh, you know, places like Kroger's, that's like the main grocery store. They have Harris Teeters that's there. But basically, you have Kroger's. Um, you know, you're going to get more bang for your buck. You have Kroger's and then you have Food Line. You know, you have Harris Teeter. But normally, people go to either Kroger's or Food Line, right? Um, so, this is cheaper. The, the, the food is cheaper. Um, um, the gas is cheaper there. Uh, housing, um, whether you're renting or owning a, a house, um, it's, it's cheap. You're going to get more bang for your buck. So if you have relatives that's coming in and you want to, you know, <laughs> basically, you know, make it so that you, you the man, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to wow people over, you're definitely going to wow people over when you purchase your nice size house and living in a nice size, a nice uh, area. And, you know, places like Raleigh and, and Cary. Oh, you're going to wow people over, right? The public school system is, is good down there. They have some of the best schools that's in that area. Raleigh and Cary. You understand? So, overall, Raleigh is a good fit if you're looking to move somewhere where it's cheaper. Um, it's more of a slow pace you know area or city rather um it's not so much fast pace it's 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 quite a decent sized city you understand where you know raleigh has like some of the lowest crime within the country you know it's not a lot of crime goes there goes on there you understand um it's very safe you know um things do happen i'm not gonna lie but you know a lot of stuff don't happen you know what I'm saying? Like your bigger size cities such as Charlotte, Atlanta, uh, Miami, uh, Houston, Dallas, Chicago, Los Angeles, and it goes on, New York. You understand? So Raleigh is a good fit for that. If, if you're all about family, right? Have, making sure that your family is safe and you're living in a nice area, Raleigh is your perfect fit. It really is. I can't lie. Pros. That was the pros. Are you ready for the cons? I lived in Raleigh, right? Twice. The first time I lived in Raleigh, I really didn't experience, you know, the middle class life because, you know, I went to this HBCU called uh, St. Augustine's College and I lived on the dorm, lived in the dorm, right? And um, I experienced college life. I mean, anybody, anyone that experienced college life is basically the same. You know, you go to the student union, you eat there, and basically at the seven, you starve to death until seven in the morning. I would say, in particular, the HBCUs. It's just typical, you know what I'm saying? So the second time I um, moved to, to Raleigh, I actually was living in Greensboro and I moved to Raleigh. Um, that's when I experienced, you know, like, real life, you know, like getting an apartment and, you know, working and paying bills and et cetera, et cetera, right? So, you know, I'm not ashamed of my past. I used to sell bootleg movies and CDs and I did quite well selling. You know, I've always had this business mind, you know what I'm saying? So when I was selling bootleg movies and CDs, I treated, just, treated it just like a business. You know, I had my own burners, like CD burners. So I made, I, pr I, I produced my own product 
and I retailed and wholesaled my product. So I was able to make a decent living off of that. Like I'm talking about middle class type living. Where I had an apartment, the mother of my children had an apartment. We shared, uh, the, uh, at that time I had a, uh, we had a Chrysler Pacifica. It was like a year old. We used to vacation. We did everything that regular middle class people would do. With the exception of me selling bootleg movies and CDs, right? So, um, you know, I mean, my rent was at that time. This is 2006. I lived in Raleigh for about two and a half years until I moved here to Charlotte. Um, so this is around 2006. Of course, you know, the rent has inflated since then. You're going up, right? So I was paying like 500 a month and the mother of my children was paying $600 a month for her own joint. And, um, you know, um, we had just became, you know, become um, parents, you know, um, and, uh, you know, at the same time, we decided that we wanted to be vegetarian. So, you know, I would go to Whole Foods and I would go to Kroger's and we would, you know, that was like the genesis of being a vegetarian. I, we really didn't know what to do. You know, we, we didn't bump into Dr. Sebi and, you know, and the alkaline diet until like 2009, you know, when we first got here in Charlotte for the first time, because I've, I've, <laughs> this is the second time I've lived in Charlotte. I actually lived um, in Atlanta for two and a half years in between the first and the second time of, of me being in Charlotte. So, um, you know, we were just experiencing that, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just getting things together, you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm being a father for the first time, you know, so the, the, the cost of living when I was living in, excuse me, Raleigh, it was, it was, it was cheap. It was affordable. Like I didn't have a problem with paying my bills. Matter of fact, I used to pay my bills ahead of time. You understand? It was cheap. But far as recreation, extracurricular, curricular things to do, Raleigh does not offer but so much. Yes, you have North Hills, and North Hills is nice. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, go and park your car there, you go up the escalator, you know what I'm saying? You got the movie theater there, you have, uh, you know, eateries and restaurants in, in that area. You go across the street, there's Harris Teed and there's the, some stuff over in that area. Yes, true indeed. The downtown area is nice. You have these little food courts and stuff like that that's in that area, and then you got the Midtown, but Midtown is not even, they haven't even finished on it. Yes, you have the Hurricanes, the NHL hockey team, professional hockey team, right? Yes, you have, if you're into, you know, basketball, college basketball, that is, you have the three major uh, uh, basketball teams that's there, North Carolina State, uh, Wolfpack, uh, you have the Duke Blue Devils, you have UNC Tar Heels. Yeah, it's nice. They got a couple of restaurants here and there, etc. But at the end of the day, you're going to run out of options. So what are you willing to do? You understand here you have, well, you got Raleigh, you have nice jobs. The cost of living is low. You're going to get more bang for your buck. You get to go see these basketball, you know, games, college basketball, win in season, you know, win the, you know, they're playing bas college basketball, college football as well. You can hang out in North Hills here and there, you know, go to the movie theater. You can hang out in downtown, you know, go to the food courts and different things that they got down there. You can go to Crabtree Mall and, you know, go, you know, hang out there and they got another mall further up the street from there that they just built not too long ago. At the end of the day, you're going to run out of options, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, is you're going to be bored. You're going to be bored. If you're used to a fast-paced life, if you're used to having options, I mean several options, Raleigh is not the place for you. It's just not. It's that plain and simple. And I know, at the end of the day, I'm going to see a whole bunch of comments of people that are from Raleigh that's going to say, well, you got this, 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 this. But I'm telling you, this is my word. Read the comments if you don't believe me. They're not going to say but so much because there's not too much to do there. It's just that plain and simple. I live there. I know. And I, I know people that still live there. That plain and simple. And then, listen, wherever you go, guess what? You're going to have to drive because their, their transportation uh, sucks. Public transportation sucks. Like, 
if I'm not mistaken, the bus is still, they, they stop running at 11 p.m. They might have changed it. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I've, I haven't lived there in some years. They have absolutely no train system. They've been talking about having a train since 2000. 2000. Building a massive train transit system where the train can connect from Chapel Hill to Durham to Raleigh. They've been talking about that for the last 20 something years. I'm telling you, this is my word. And they had, as of yet, to create one, to build one, build a, 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 something. It's just that plain and simple. So if you come from these cities where you are used to walking out your front door, and going to a bodega or going to a pizzeria shop or the grocery store or whatever, you could can that when it comes to Raleigh. You're gonna have to get in your car and drive to your destination. That plain and simple. And see, people don't like it when I talk like this, but it's just factual. I'm not trying to be disrespectful or nothing, but I just have to put people in their proper place. This is a fact. If you don't believe me, go down to Raleigh and see Raleigh for, for what it's worth. That plain and simple. I'm tired of people that, that, that states that Raleigh has a bigger population than Charlotte, which is not true. Raleigh has a, roughly about 600,000 people. Charlotte has roughly about 800,000 people. In total, uh, uh, Metro Charlotte has 2.9 million people. In total, far as dealing with Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill combined, and Cary, you all have one point in that area, have 1.9 million people. If I were to put Raleigh inside Charlotte, I would have to put two Raleigh's inside Charlotte in order to make Charlotte. I'm telling you that Charlotte is so big, it's to the point where I could be driving from Still Creek to the university area and it's gonna take me, depending on traffic, at least 35, let me take that back, 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes to get there. You could drive from Raleigh to Durham and that's how long it's going to it, It'll take less than that. It'll take you to get from Raleigh to Durham to about 25 minutes. So I'm just so tired of people stating, you know, inaccurate, uh, uh, making inaccurate statements. Let me say this. When it comes to Charlotte, you're going to have more of a faster pace lifestyle. You're going to have things to do, such as Whitewater Park, um, Carowinds, which is uh, like just like, but not as big as Bush Gardens, Kings Dominion, Six Flags, Great Adventures. Uh, we have the uh, professional football team called the Carolina Panthers. We have the professional basketball team called the Charlotte Hornets. We have the minor league baseball team called the Charlotte Knights. We have NASCAR here, so if you're into, you know, racing, we have the NASCAR here, that, which is like right up the street in Concord. You have South End where you can hang out at. You have the Noda area where you, you can hang out at. You have Optimus Hall. You have Camp North End. There's several things to do here. Several. We're not too far from Asheville, so if you want to chill out and go to the mountains, you know, skiing and stuff like that, you, you, we're about two hours away from there. We're about three and a half hours away from Myrtle Beach. We're four hours away from Atlanta. There are a lot of things to do here. Period. We're in a prime location. And I'm not trying to be funny. We got a lot of stuff to do here. But it's going to cost you more. That plain and simple. Now I'm going to tell you, like, there's some things that you can actually avoid as far as the, the cost of living here, like gas, for example, right? Yes, it costs more. The gas costs more here than in Raleigh. But guess what you can do? Now, it just depends on where you live at in Charlotte. I mean, it's unwise for you to travel from the university area and come down to South Carolina State Line because you're spending gas money getting there. It defeats the purpose. But if you live in, like, Ballantyne, you know, not, not like further towards Indian land, but, like, Closer coming towards like South Boulevard, Pineville, Matthews area, right? Um, and Still Creek. If you're living in that those areas, 
You're not too far from South Carolina. Matter of fact, Ballantyne, what am I saying? So Indian land and that, that whole area, matter of fact, you can go, if you're living in Ballantyne, it's easy, it's, it's accessible. I was thinking about Fort, Mo Fort Mill, my fault. But yeah, you could, Ballantyne, if you live in Ballantyne, you live in Steel Creek, you can go right up the street and hit the South Carolina state line and boom, you right there, you can get gas in South Carolina. South Carolina gas is cheaper than Raleigh's gas. Um, as far as dealing with food, when I first got up here, like I said, I was a vegetarian, so I went in the grocery store, and they have the, the, the grocery store here, here is Publix, Aldi, um, Harris Teeter, and they have Little now, um, and I think that's about it, yeah, and they have Food Line, so, you know, I shop at Food Line, I mean, excuse me, I, I shop at Harris Teeter, right, so I got here, I was like, wow, these, these, these prices are ridiculous, but the thing of it is, is that you could coupon, they have online coupons, and then they have, you know, which you, you can use your VIT card. And they have specials all the time. You know what I'm saying? Buy two, get one free, or something like that. And the way Harris Teeter, you know, its system works, it's like you can use your VIT card on top of that buy two, get one free, on top of the online coupons you get online. So there's ways that you can maneuver in Charlotte in order for it to be somewhat as cheap as Raleigh. But overall, you're not going to get away with paying rent. The rent is $100, $300 difference. You understand? You're going to definitely get your more bang for your buck in Raleigh. I pay $1,505. I can't, I can't imagine how much I may be able to get. Now, I'm, 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 it's pretty decent. You understand? Like, like I got three bedroom, two and a half bath, uh, garage, front yard, front yard, backyard, right? Um, but I mean, it's decent. But at the end of the day, I can't, I can't imagine what I could get for $1,505 in Raleigh. You understand? So it is a, a, a hundred to three hundred dollar difference in price for us dealing with renting an apartment or a house. You understand? And you're gonna pay more. I mean, the further in uptown you go, you, it's gonna get more expensive. Um, if you're a millennial, I'm gonna put it to you like this: If you're a millennial, right, and you're making a decent uh, amount of money, you could be able to afford a one bedroom apartment ranging from eighteen. I say from yeah, eighteen hundred to twenty twenty two hundred, right? A month. Your thing is uptown south end. That's where all of the millennials at. A lot of millennials. There's hardly no old folks in that area. That's all millennials. You own you own South Boulevard in Uptown. That's my word. That's the area that you want to go to. And the good thing about that area is you do not need a car. You can literally walk across the street on South Boulevard. You can literally walk across the street to Harris Teeter. You can literally walk across the street to restaurants and all of that stuff that's, that's there for you. South End, all of that area is within walking distance. And if you, don't feel, if you don't feel like walking, they got the little scooters that you can use. If you don't feel like using the scooters, they got the Linux train that goes straight through Uptown. South Boulevard, South End, and Uptown. All the way across uh, Noda and... Um, all the way to UNC, UNC Charlotte. You can't beat it. And we have a Lynx train. It runs from one end of Charlotte to the next. You can't beat it. But at the end of the day, with all of the things that you can do in Charlotte, that it's things that I haven't even mentioned. You know what I'm saying? Like I should have put out a list of all of that. Well, I've done a video on that. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of things to do in Charlotte. And Trent, the, we don't have a massive transit system. You know, of course, we got the Lynch train and it runs from one end to the other, and that's it. It doesn't go like all through Charlotte, but we're working on that. Um, as as we as I speak, I think they have the. It's not. I think they're working on the red line that's going to go from Betty's Ford, well Johnson C. Smith, the HBCU, all the way straight through Uptown, all the way up to um, Central Avenue. You understand? So we're working on that. Um, but the public transportation is way more better than than, than Raleigh. Um, our buses and and the train they um they run up to one o'clock in the morning, and just about anywhere you want to live in Charlotte, you can live. There's there's gonna be a bus. We even have buses that go to Concord. We have buses that go go to uh, Pineville Matthews. So outside of you know, Charlotte, we have buses that, that'll take you to other little towns. That plain and simple.
You know what I'm saying? Like where I live in, 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 in Steel Creek, there's a lot of things to do, man. I got Top Golf is right up the street. And Carowinds is literally in my backyard. Like I could drive like minutes, it take me minutes to get to Carowinds. You understand? So, yo, you just, it's gonna be more to, more things to do in Charlotte, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be more expensive. It's just that plain and simple. You you can't get away from that. Um, if you're a family man, I mean, you can live in both cities. Uh, um, you know, no doubt. I'm a family man, and I, I live in Charlotte. You know, it's best that if you do live um, in Charlotte, and if you're a family man, you you live in, in the outskirts of Charlotte, not so much. Uh, you know, in Uptown, you know, because I'm not trying to be funny, but like Uptown is surrounded around like kind of like urban areas, like, you know, East Charlotte, you know, West Boulevard, and that area, uh, Freedom Drive, Wilkinson Boulevard, you know, that area. That area is kind of rough, you know, you understand? So you, you might want to live on the outskirts of Charlotte, the places like uh, Still Creek, Huntersville, Ballantyne, South Park. Uh, the university area, even though I've, I've been hearing that university area like on the news, like, yo, they, they've been getting busy. But for the most part, a lot of black middle class people live in, in that area. You know what I'm saying? And, and Still Creek as well. You know, Ballantyne is like Buckhead. Our, buck, our version of Buckhead and, you know, um, is, is, is Ballantyne and South Park as well. You understand? So, you know, I, I would say stay on the, on the south. And, on the outskirts, Raleigh, far as dealing with Raleigh, man, there's, there's rough areas, but it's just like one spot. Just one spot. Like, I used to uh, boot, sell bootleg movies. When I sold my bootleg movies and CDs and stuff, I, I would sell them on um, this, this street called Pool Road. So from Pool Road going down towards the downtown area is kind of rough. But when I, when I was on my way out, like leaving, they were actually gentrifying that area. So it's just like really one spot in Raleigh that's like really bad. And that's it. Other than that, you could live just about anywhere. You know what I mean? I lived, um, when I was there, I, would, I lived um, right behind, I forgot that hospital, Rex Hospital. Um, I was minutes away from Crabtree Mall. Like, I could like go out and make a left. I stayed in these apartments called Old Raleigh Apartments. Make that left, and boom, I was right there at Crabtree Mall. And then I could keep straight, go past Rex Hospital, and I was um, at that flea market the, the, where they hold a state fair at, like minutes away from that, minutes away from um, uh, North Carolina uh, State. You understand? So, yeah, you could, you could stay just about anywhere in Raleigh, and you know, and it'd be decent. You know, but um, for the most part, I'm going I'm to I'm end it like this. If you're into like the slow pace lifestyle, you know, you don't really go out too much. You the person that cooks out, you know, on the, on the weekends, you know, if it's hot. Um, when your, your, your people come from, you know, different states or whatever, have you want to entertain them, you know, you, you want to do the 4th of July, you want to have the Christmas parties and the Thanksgiving parties and stuff like that. Um, at the end of the day, while the children are asleep, you know, you got you a babysitter, the adults go out, you know, you might go bowling, y'all might catch a movie, y'all might hang out, like, you know, go to like a, a nice restaurant and stuff like that. That's more like Raleigh. That sounds more like Raleigh, if that's what you want to do. But if you're in a fast-paced life and you want to hang out downtown, well, excuse me, we call our downtown Uptown, and you want to be, like, you know what I'm saying, hip and, 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 and have, like, a, a nightlife, you, you definitely want to choose Charlotte. You definitely want to choose Charlotte. I mean, now, taking heed, you're going to have to deal with, you know, South End, Nota area, Uptown. You're going to have to deal with the millennials because they, they up there. But it's a lot of stuff to do in Charlotte, man. It's a lot of stuff to do. You understand? I mean, I can't wait until the summer. You know, I hope, I know Carowinds is opening up, um, but I hope they open up Whitewater Park, man. Straight up, because I haven't been. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm interested in, 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 in going, man. You know, Charlotte, summers, man, it's, re it's really nice out here, man. You understand? So, like I said, I mean, it, it's just like this. It's plain and simple. Because I, I know this has been long and I want to get y'all out of here, you know. Um, it's plain and simple. If you just want to live that, if you come from like a, you know, a small area, small town, and you just want to bump it up, you know, you want your lifestyle to be a little bit more faster, just a tad bit, but not so much, Raleigh is the key. If you want that, I'm, I'm living in New York, I'm living in Atlanta, I'm living in Los Angeles, I'm living in Houston, I'm living in Dallas. I know that Charlotte's not going to be as fast paced as these areas, but I'm willing to slow it down a little bit, but I'm not trying to slow it down, but so much. I would say Charlotte.
And plus, see the, the unique thing about Charlotte is new. It's new. It's a new city, so everything is brand new. You understand? Oh, it's, it's the best kept secret, man. And I, I'm just giving you all my non-biased opinion. I know I live in Charlotte, but at the same time, I'm gonna tell you the, the the good and the bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, Research Triangle Park. The jobs are there in Raleigh. You know, there's little to no crime, but at the same time, the reason why it's little to no crime is because it is a police city, man. It's 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 cops everywhere in Raleigh, and I'm I'm just gonna be real with you. I'm a minority, and I can speak on behalf of other minorities. They do racially profile in Raleigh. I don't feel safe in Raleigh like that, but I definitely feel safe in Charlotte. I'm not saying that I put my my, my guards up when it comes to the cops, but I know that the, the cops of Yo, listen, they, 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 they're, 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 they're different. They're different compared to, to Raleigh cops. I can tell you that right now. You understand? Raleigh is a capital is the capital city. So they have they definitely have an image to up, uphold. And they uphold that image. They make sure that they put people in check. And it's that plain and simple. So if I were a minority, in, in my opinion, and I want a faster paced life, you know what I'm saying? And I come from a bigger city and, you know, I'm not willing to give up nothing. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, just, I just want, I want something new, but I don't want it to be right, like really, really slow. Definitely Charlotte. Definitely. The two cities to live in, in the state of North Carolina, I would say Charlotte being first, Raleigh being second, nothing else. You could say Greensboro, no. Fayetteville, no. Winston-Salem, no. That plain and simple. Cary is like the suburbs of Raleigh, so you can't really say Cary because Cary is kind of like connected to Raleigh. But other than that, yeah, man, I, I would definitely choose um, Charlotte. Um, but overall, Raleigh is cheaper. That plain and simple. If that answers your question. Um, if I answered your question. Uh, other than that, man, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. Peace.